Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are with our friend um, Tom, and we will be reading to you a few poems. Uh, I hope you will enjoy this reading. Hello, Tom. How are you doing? Uh, Dirich. Hello. Bonjour. Hello. Um, uh, I'm Tom. Uh, I'm effectively the uh, the wrench monkey behind Godel's service. Indeed, you Discord. are. Yeah, and a poet. A wrench monkey and a poet. Uh, I, I'm that good. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I love it. So, I will read a poem just to start up. Uh, let's see. A good poem to read. I will read to you a poem that I wrote a few years back. It's about birthdays. Time unravels as a burning candle. As my eyes are shut, the moment passes, reminding me of full hour glasses. When grains of sands were easy to handle. In the darkness, it lights the path ahead, taking me further than I could have been led. I open my eyes and it's halfway through. A song broke the silence as my breath blew. The older I get, the more candles burn. For each of them, I look into the past, to days in which everything was to yearn. The world was a playground and very vast. With each grain of sand comes a memory, and soon I myself am the piling sand, and the memory becomes reverie. Light as the lifeline from my poem's hand soon vanishes, and the songs slowly cease, leaving me a strange sensation of peace. Uh, Would you give us a poem, Tom? Well, I'll give you one my own. Called The Pen Stroke. With a simple swish of my hand, it is done. I have become the Taoiseach of my own domain. My travelling days have been fun. But now a home I will attain. Oh, the joy! The weeks of effort have come to glorious conclusion. I am no longer a boy. My worries have ceased to frusion. I am a man now. I have a home and a bow that is mine to allow. From now on I can return once I roam. You can only move in on a Friday. This tradition I should gladly partake in. As I cross over this archway, a childhood will have been. Amazing. Amazing reading, dude. This is a really good poem. Thank you f so much for sharing it. It captures a very visceral moment, uh, emotion for me right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful that I could capture it in words. Well, you did an excellent job. Honestly, it it reflects a lot the description of the present moment to you that you gave me uh, in, in the past days. So I, I find it really cool, like you know, you having a home and getting like all your stuff together. It's it's excellent, and you managing to put it off in a in a poem that kind of like makes an hymn out of this you know like a, a node to success <laughs> i i love it i think it's, it's grand well uh language i have been trying my best to learn uh, thank you Sean. Hmm. so i will read you guys an art poem please do let's see yeah i will read you panic attack 
I'm having a deadly panic attack. Through my chest, my heart is about to crash. My broken bones tremble, making strange cracks. Nightmarish memories through darkness slash. My heart pounds and pounds, each beating faster than the one before, each beat more painful. Soon, I'm not anymore my own master, and all I'm capable of is dreadful. Drops from this fever feel like frozen shards. The palm of my hands are wet, yet so cold. My shaken hands couldn't hold the bad cards dealt by this destiny of growing old. A cold fever shakes down my broken spine. My ancient wings are falling to the front as my back's crushed under hell's army lines. Instead of screams, all I've got left are grunts. My muscles are taken by painful spasm, then are frozen into paralysis. I crumble under my heart constant rams, as what's left for me here fuel this crisis. My breath is uncontrolled and there's no air. I gasp in tears. Reminded of the fumes, I sob at what I have become. I stare at present, past and future and see gloom. Before me, my reality burns down. Soon, all I can perceive is fire and smoke. I can see beyond blood being blown as if it was toxic smog meant to choke. Yeah, sorry, it's a strong pun. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, no, it is. It hits hard. It, it, it's, it captures an emotion. A feeling that I can genuinely relate to on a very personal level. That that feeling of when your soul is wrecked, that, that is a panic attack, and it hurts. It hurts in a way that, that, that no normal words can explain. And the, the way that you can just simply so beautifully comprehend it is it's scary. <laughs> Thank you, man. It's scary. It's scary in the way you know. Uh, we often misuse the word, but, but awesome. You know, the, the idea that it creates this sense of awe within me is is very true. Wow, dude, that is uh, amazing feedback, man. Wow, you you touch me <laughs> right in the heart. Wow, thank you. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. So I I I, I may lighten the mood a little then with that. The slightly more light-hearted poem. Oh, please do. Uh, the rip. The white line disappears. My nose twitches. I feel... I reel back as my head pushes my mind's from tears. The reality switches. It is all so intense now. I love you all! There is nothing to allow. The alcohol disappears. Our night grows faster. The dancers, the talkers, our high group of rascals. We are subject to MDME and our beers. The night of inebriated revelry occurs. My friends and I, comrades in arms with no fears. There is no subject not, that we shall not prefer. It is the nature of it all. For us to rob time, we awake from our cabal. The come down set of the hour decline. Oh, curse these vices! These pre these the potassium must be our divine. For now that we are suffering, let our home be our shrine. It 
it's a it's a much simpler poem. I love a it. Simpler topic of 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 enjoying a truly good night out. Mm. But it captures that feeling. I feel. It does. It does. You, you do manage to capture the optimism of life. I I actually love it. You, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of your poems, to be honest. Like ever since you started writing them, uh, I find you excellent at doing it. I do believe that you haven't reached the top plateau of, you know, like how good you can write. However, this is not something you want to reach because you, you as a writer, you always want to progress. So that's a good thing. But your cool poems are. Are amazing for uh, new poems, dude. Like uh, f for someone that has been starting recently, pshaw. Yeah. But, you know, um, there's an old song in an old, uh, an old film. You see, once you've climbed up a mountain, you can't back down. That is true. That is so true. That's what I feel right now. You know, I, I am climbing up a mountain, and no, there's no way for me to step back from mm -hmm. it. And I am proud to embrace the challenge. But, but please. If you would enlighten me with another glorious poem. Okay, so this is, um, uh, it's not as joyful as yours, but uh, it's a poem that I'm pretty proud of. It's um, about, uh, you know, having this sort of anxiety that personifies itself into a demon. And I call this poem, My Own Demon. Just as the seconds passes, my heart pounds. I feel some kind of demon ripping through my ribcage that is its jail, making sounds of running steps like the devil's pursuer. I know I should run or fight, but I freeze. How could I ever face my own demon when my heart, my regret, I can't appease? He makes me feel like I'm its dark prison. Sometimes it roars of hatred and anger. Sometimes it's waiting for the right moment. Then, with echoing sonorous clangor, it slashes me with vindictive torment. It makes me feel like it is my jailer, when really it is locked in my prison. To this demon, I am its prisoner, even though this truth is beyond reason. Each pounding louder than the precedent, each beating faster than the one before, to the point of turning me irrelevant. Even as I beg for calm, I am ignored. It's like it's waiting for my time to come. My heart is pouring blood through my thick veins. I'm overwhelmed by what I have become. No memories of my past self remains. I haven't transformed into my demon. Instead of this, I am its favorite victim. I'm waiting for its, ter for its terrible treason, as I remain a bolt of this system. <laughs> it's... Can you have a way? Uh, I, I call it the the, the French melodrama. <laughs> you, you have a way of capturing emotions in a way that just it never ceases to amaze me. Yet I love it. You know. Thank you. Thank you. There's, there's, a, there's a beauty to create. Like uh, I've only ever met francophones who can do it. I've yet to meet an anglophone who can do it. But yet they, they, they do it in such a beautiful way. They capture, they capture the spirit of a feeling in a way that the English people just can't. They just can't because, because not, they're not in, engrossed in that language which French does. And that, and it's hard to capture that concept. It, it doesn't translate into English in a way. But yet, only through poetry does it make any sense. 
Thanks, man. And that's why I love. Wow. Thank you. Will you charm us with one of your poems? Well, I have a more... Uh, so this poem is, is more personal. It's a, it's a poem that you personally and not personally will... will, uh, will be able to... to, to, to to, to, to relate to, but I feel in a way it captures the spirit that brought me into poetry. So, so we all, for the record, for everyone else, uh, we, we listen to a poem, we listen to a film called uh, Children's Games. In English. Uh, I can't remember what it is in French. Uh, um, but. Je Je exactly. Children's Games. Uh, so. I, I wrote a poem as part of a bet, really, but I'm very proud of this poem because it was my first real personalized poem. A cap u a cup. The question I pondered. A concept on my lap. An opportunity not to be squandered. I am a Slave to Jus de Fall. I'm a willing participant. I'm sat here in La Trance. I am thinking of what the dare meant. Und now I write. Oh, what a wonderful delight! The fruit, it was un tom. I await the next capsule. It, this poem in particular, I, I like it because it it captures my personal little side project, which is I like to sprinkling foreign language to my speech. Honestly, I, dude, I, I, I love this poem. <laughs> I, I love the story behind this poem too. <laughs> I love that it's a dirt that pushed you into poetry, and I know that you've. <laughs> You know, you, you you took the bite, you, you, you took the bait, now you're into it. I love it, I love it. Honestly, I fucking adore it. I was thinking of um, You and Me Together. I think it's a nice poem that goes uh, a little bit with what you just read. You know, it, it gives a good mood. Plus, we just spoke about Nautrix, so now I'm thinking uh, it's a good poem, you know. <laughs> There you go. A little dedicated. Dedicated. So. If, if you find the poem after me, I have to read it. <laughs> I will let you read the next one. Let's see. <laughs> you and me, together, we will live forever as two poets, writers of tender love letters. You and I, forever, we will live together. Some days will be bitter, but none will remember them. They'll just see writers. You and me, together, we will live forever. Some days will be better, and they will be brighter than all that is bitter. Oh within each other will always find shelter. You and I, together, we will be forever. Just as those love letters will be read by others in forever after, you and me, together, we will live forever. We will be remembered as love storytellers, never been surrendered to all that would have severed our love for each other. You and I, together, we will live forever. We don't touch each other, but in constant fever from our passion's river, our minds from love shivers. You and me forever we will be together we'll never surrender and they remember us as timeless lovers us within each others we will be forever unheard 
or the other, and tire together. We will be forever throughout time together, as two flies in amber embracing each other. You and me, together, we will be forever. Ah. <laughs> Wunderbar! Jawohl! Uh, it is... Obviously, I, I... I feel like this poem is very naked in its assertions, you know? It's, <laughs> no, nobody has any doubts of what you're trying to say. You know, this is... This is the statement of... Of the truest, most platonic love. The, the one thing I like particularly with this poem is uh, this side of reaching to immortality with love embedded with poetry, you know, and making this reference of those love letters that will be read in the forever after. It, it really reminded me of, you know, like creating something together and Listen. Yeah, what it, you have wrote is, is so visceral, it's so, it's so sincere to the topic that no one, no one, there's no one on God's good earth that could ever question what you're trying to say. Yeah. I... You should read this one now. Well, I, I would like to... I would like to give you a poem, which I think stands to a different aspect of our relationship. Then mm -hmm. you know, we have talked about you. Know, this poem is about you, and Nodrick's love of we staying together no matter what the circumstances and and, and and irrespective of your flaws. But I would like to give one a a discussion we had, which is about how we can accept our flaws. I agree. That's a good poem. The, uh, the question, a question of ideals. We argue. We shout. We think that it's about clout. We act like the other does not know what they're talking about. The nation. The man. A devilish plan. The more than I can stand. When the dust can settle, we both think deep. All we want to see is a world a little bit better than, we went, than when we went to sleep. Maybe our differences are not so deep. Maybe it is that of brothers, seeing what is best to keep. I cannot know. Such ordeals are too deep. What I know is, our loyalty is to cherish something to keep. Wow. Wow, dude. I love it. I love it. You impressed me so much, man. Honestly. Like, I it's remember the day funny. you wrote that poem. And I, I love that I you do, wrote do. that poem right after our talk. It's awesome. I love it. I remember because we had a falling out because because we fell out yeah, over yeah. what was such a petty issue looking back at it. Yeah. But I knew that that I needed to put it in your words because because by my nature I am not a I'm not a poetic person. I do not I do not deal in melodrama <laughs> by nature. I, I deal in very factual hard statements, mm -hmm. which which differentiates with how we deal. And it causes this problem where very often when I say something, it causes an offense. And I do not mean that in a negative way. No, of course. Because if anyone did not deal in the hardest and hardest of ideas, you would take an offense. Because I do not sugarcoat anything. <laughs> but very often I should. <laughs> well, and so, it and does so make you charm, though. You know, it's part of you, <laughs> and I wouldn't deny you that part of you. Like, <laughs> it is part of you. And it's actually a part that I really enjoy because, in many ways, you're not afraid to express you, 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 what you think, you know, and that's really good stuff. Well, the thing and that's is. That's what I love about you, Cordell. You know, 
there is two things. One has to be humble enough to listen to everything, and at the mm -hmm. same time, um, be capable of speaking the ideas with somebody else and exchanging actually I ideas, you know, sharing ideas. And I'm not saying that everybody has to take everything from everybody, but that by sharing, we can build up, you know, over that. And we can keep on growing instead of uh, being stuck into the confrontation zone. And on those wise words, I suggest that we finish this stream. I wish you all a good night, good evening, and good morning, wherever you are. Well, uh, my dear friend. You are Margot. Uh, Salam alaikum. Au revoir. Au revoir. Adieu, if that's how you are. And goodbye from the most sincere part of my heart. It was excellent having you all uh, here, and please don't hesitate to join uh, our community, or uh, if you want to help in any other way, we also have a Patreon. Please, please join if you can, the Pin Dark Road Society on Discord. Uh, Cordell will leave, of course, a link in the description. <laughs>